Salutations, everyone. It's Willingness240. Welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler. Last time we did a bunch of stuff and we were super cool and we got a bunch of cool loot and we helped people out and we're really great people. Yeah. I wanted to see how fast I could get through the intro. I feel pretty solid. Probably sounded a little annoying, but you know, whatever. It was fast. Let's hear some travel banter. Booyah, baby. Oh, no. What's the matter, Tressa? Look at my skin, Ophelia. I've got this nasty boil. I guess I haven't been taking very good care of myself lately, but it sure isn't easy with all this traveling and fighting. I know what you mean. My hair is all frazzled and frayed. But I suppose it's no use. Good nights of sleep and warm baths are a luxury on the road, after all. Not that the men seem to care much. Indeed. <coughs> Something the matter, fair ladies? Oh look, it's the old medicine man. Hey, who are you calling old? <laughs> I'm just teasing, Alfin. Anyway, what brings you here? Seems he's brought us something. You bet I have. Feast your eyes on this. This here is lovely lace, an herb known for smoothing and softening the skin. You have piqued Tress's interest as well as Ophelia's. Rub it on any blotches, wrinkles, or boils, and watch them fade away. And that's not all. Mix it <laughs> mix it with water and run it through your hair to make your locks flow like silk. Get, get it now for two easy payments of $19.95. Why, it sounds like a miracle! Wow, you really do have all sorts of treasures in that bag of yours. Haha, <laughs> it's just what I do. So if I want some of this, how much would that cost me? I wouldn't think of selling it to my friends. It's yours for free. Aw, you're too kind. It's like he was sent down to us by Elfric himself. Ask and you shall receive. For a too low, easy payments of $19.95. <laughs> oh, man. Alpha, you had the perfect opportunity there. But he's a nice guy. And I believe we got no more side quests to deal with here, so we're just going to get beamed up by Scotty and show our faces somewhere else. What am I to do with my life now, I wonder? I have my freedom now. No longer am I bound to sell my body to pay my way in the world. But no matter who I ask, I found no decent work. The world is a cold place when one is alone. And this place is colder than any other. I'm sick of it. Now that I think on it, I've been tumbling from one job to the next ever since I left the Hearts employment. Everywhere I went, all I found were cold hearts and miserable work. Is there any warm place left in this world? Some warm-hearted master who would let me do decent work once again? Such dreams are too grand for a tiled old whore. Ouch. That's too heavy for Alfin to deal with. Okay, Primrose. I say you allure Ariana because I guess you're... I mean, honestly, it's not that hard. You're just like, oh, hey, friend of mine. Like, like previous certain... 
How good is Ophelia's person? I prefer elderly woman. Yeah, Primrose is like, oh hey, old buddy friend of mine, why don't you, you know, we come for a, a nice quick walk. Primrose, my dear, you dance ever so beautifully. Oh, that's nice. And then it's like, it's just a nice short walk all the way over to Stone Guard. <laughs> it's only a few kilometers. A few dozen kilometers. Easy peasy. Do it every day. Oh, hello. Then we're gonna head on over to the Stone Guard Valleys, specifically. And see if we can run into a certain someone. Ah. There must be such loyal creatures somewhere in this world. Good and true servants who only wish to work under the roof of a good mistress. But there are, man. You have one right here. Pardon? You may call me Ariana, if it pleases you, my lady. And I would gladly serve you till my last day, if you would but let me. Oh! What a lovely way you have with words! That calm grace, that poise and those manners. Yes, I think we could get along very well. Would you truly like to work as my lady's maid? I swear that nothing could please me more in this world, my lady. Haha. <laughs> then I'm glad to welcome ye into my employ, Miss Ariana. Now there's only one more thing I need. I'm still lacking a good coachman to see me about in my carriage. Do you happen to know any coachmen seeking new employment? If it pleases my lady, I might know of such a man. He's a skilled coachman, to be sure. I rode many a treacherous road in his coach and never came to misfortune. Oh, that does sound promising. It's as though the stars have aligned for me. Only, I'm afraid that his manners can be a bit curt. I cannot say for sure what you might think of him if he should ever be willing to come here to work. So ends the tale of Ariana again. Numero uno. You gotta note the numero uno, you know. The hells? Well, that was a rude thing to just <laughs> yell out randomly. Okay, fine. So that's how it's gonna be. We're. <laughs> Something tells me we gotta head on back over to Still Snow. My gosh, that is a walk. And <laughs> see if we can meet that coach. Or meet him again, rather. We, we met him before. <laughs> now, let's see if we can get him in our employ. And Oh, wow, there he is. <laughs> the world ain't doing any favors to a poor sot like me. Surely folks must need a good coachman, but I can't find no work since my last job dried up. Wow, we really got rid of a lot of jobs when we murdered that guy. <laughs> when we murdered that left and or right arm of the black bang. He was an arm, okay? We cut off the arm, we amputated it, solid. He did, it, he did us wrong. We're the good guys. What do you want? <laughs> Primrose is like, wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? And Orin's like, no. But I got nothing better to do. Come on, Orin. We got a new job for you, potentially. Unless your utter lack of manners makes you not a good fit. 
In which case, you brought it on yourself, we tried. Just saying. You're probably in her house. Sure enough. Oh. Oh! Are you the coachman that my Ariana spoke of? How glad I am that fate has brought us together. Would you come to work in my household? My name is Natalia, and I promise you that I do well by my servants. Yes, sir. I think I begin to see what Ariana meant. Kurt, indeed. How fortunate we both are, Oren. I'm glad you agreed to come work here as well. I know you're trustworthy. We're going to have such a better life here. Hmm. Could be. I've gotta admit, this place does seem pretty lush. Clean air, nice folks, and... Warmth. So warm compared to where we was. I know just what you mean, Oren. It is indeed warm here. In so many ways. I've spent so many years struggling to find work and barely keeping afloat. Now at last I feel like I've found a place where I can settle down and truly live. Now then, it's time we get down to work, I'd say. Today's the first day of your new post in my two. I should quite like to go into town for a bit of shopping. Ariana, would you accompany me? Of course, my lady. I'd be delighted. And we received the adamantine dagger. Not to mention... The happiness of two good folks who no longer have just utterly terrible employee and oh my god this makes the rune knife look like a joke heck yeah <laughs> you do not want to mess with primrose's elemental attack jeez You don't mess with Primrose. Here they can- Oh, she's a dancer. She doesn't even got really any armor on. What's she gonna do? And then she just snaps her fingers, and then you either get, like, burned, frozen, electrocuted, uh, blown away, or... Whatever equivalent of darkness would be, because that's the most likely one. You're just dead. Through and through. <laughs> You're like, well, I made better decisions back in my day. <laughs> my earlier days. Actually, I am curious what you have to say. Hmm. Am I not cold dressed like this, you ask? No, I wear more layers when I go out. I'm fine. No comment on her lack of employment, I suppose. That being said, it certainly does look like we're done here. No one left to help out. This still snows in a pretty good spot now. So with that, let's head out to not Noble Court. Let's go... You know what? We saw it last episode. Let's go to Victor's Hollow. Right out of the gate. What do you got for me? Hey. You okay? Uh, a lake. Please forgive me. I was attacked by bandits and my goods were stolen. I was supposed to deliver them to Susana, too. Never you mind that. I'll get them back. Based off of the fact that we just got a new quest, I'd say you ain't getting them back. That, that's just my personal guess, but, uh... 
I feel like it's spot on. And a late buddy old pal. Susana gets ill from time to time, and those were the ingredients for her medicine. I need to get him back right away. Well, you're a handsome man. Why would... How would you like to come with this fair lady? And, uh, I guess... He's gonna flip a coin as to whether he wants to or not. Moment of truth. <laughs> what do you want? Pray come hither. Bada bing, bada bam. <laughs> the coin favors us. So let's head out for those bandits. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. What if the bandits didn't go out that way? What if they went out a different way? It's possible, don't judge me. How did I never notice that before? Uh, that's more our speed, I guess. Wow. This is a whole stinking dungeon. Wow, okay. Okay, we got ourselves a healing grape bunch. Uh, we don't have Therion, so I sincerely hope we don't find any... Screw you two, game. <laughs> oh boy, a battle. Alfin, right. buddy, you got... <laughs> Peekaboo. Oh my gosh. Oh. You know, when I first saw the double tomahawk, I was like, ah, oh, jeez, I wanted something good. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Speaking of so beautiful, that double SP regen. Mmm. Let's go for, uh... I mean, all of these are not really attacks, and I don't know how worth it it is, but eh, if they're all in the white, I'd say it's worth it. Oh wait, this is an attack. Wind, light, and dark damage to all foes. BP boost. That's really good. Crit rate for two turns. Physical defense, elemental defense, speed, and evade for two. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I love this job. <laughs> Let's go shooting stars. My turn now. And Tressa, you... I don't think you have really a point. To... You know, just do fire rune. Fire. My turn now. Hail him with the spear of justice. I'm ready. And flames. Just chuck Ignis Air our dare because you can. SP region, man, it's beautiful. No Ophelia, you can just holy light. That's not enough. Alpin's double shot should be. Try again. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. That double chop. I'm telling you, I think that's gonna... I think that's gonna make some bosses we had trouble with before... A lot more possible. I'm actually really excited... At the promise that the double tomahawk shows. I figured I should have been doing side quests, but... Jeez, I did not know how much I needed to be doing side quests. 
Oh, Therion, buddy, I was looking for you. Get over here. Uh, who are we gonna dump? Uh, sorry, Tressa. Oh. Oh, fine. <laughs> Who else are we gonna dump? Uh, Hana needs levels, but also... Oh boy. Yeah, let's do that. This is very much a quest for Hana, given the characters involved. Wow, our party switched up a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> but uh, I was between Primrose and Ophelia because Primrose has got a lot of really cool stuff going for her right now but it's like really cool in the nerdy stat up sense mostly whereas Ophelia's got a bunch of new really freaking cool skills because of her job that are a lot more entertaining to watch than ooh look at those numbers they're higher but I mean just oh. Primrose's numbers are so much higher. Okay, so we got a thing there. What was it? Scourge lands. No. Makeshift spear. Why do you have three makeshift things still, Therion? What the crap? Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Scourge lands. That seems good. What else is there? Not as good physical attack? I don't care. Makeshift axe? Double tomahawk. Gosh dang it. Uh, Rune Hatchet, Gargantuan Axe, that's a really good axe, Makeshift Boat, Master's Longboat, uh, I'm sure Hanit wouldn't mind, actually the Brilliant Bow seems pretty good, it'd help a lot with runes. What the crap, let's do it. Wait, I didn't even look at the actual thing I just picked up. Come on. Therion, get that crap over here. Dagger, nope. Axe, nope. Bow, nope. Club, nope. And it wasn't a lance, was it a sword? No, oh, nope. Ah, forget it. <laughs> Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Some dread wings want to die. Sure is nice of them. I don't know. Bow attack on all foes? Oh, single foe. Well, that sucks. How much damage does it do? Not enough. Not enough. That was pretty good, though, all things considered. It's just... You know, that's a lot of SP. <laughs> Let's go for Luminescence. Here goes nothing. Alfin! Uh, do a, do a thing. Yeah! The hunt. Not, not the best in this fight. Oh, it's pretty good though. What next? Especially when she does that. She's just showing off with how next? many turns she gets. Haunt it. What kind of nasty moves you got? I know you got last stand. Out of my way. I know Therion's got like. Guardian Lion Dog. Guardian Lion Dog! Bring it on! Alphans just got a crap ton of axe chops. My gosh, I love it. And I feel like you can just smash this guy. Now you're like, wow, you're an idiot. You just had her smack him instead of doing something useful. I'm not an idiot. I'm trying. 
for this 10% chance. Oh my goodness, he's actually really good. I want it. We're gonna get him, gosh dang it. Okay, Therion, you're gonna you're gonna steal from this chunk. It is large feather. Here goes nothing. Alfin, you got to defend, I guess. Ophelia, you could use the BP boost on Hana. Bring it on. Defend. <laughs> Wide out. Coming if thou darest. I didn't know they had they had markers yeah. like that. <laughs> Medieval times, anyway. <laughs> I want it. Hey! Oh my gosh! I didn't think that worked. I thought for sure we'd have to break it, but if we did any attacks on it to break it, it was gonna die. I'm glad that worked out. Oh, we're gonna take your chest real quick here, buddy. Yeah, get the silent bandana. And, uh, Hana, you want to put that on and look cool? Oh, your max SP goes down a lot. Okay, let's not... Let's not do that. Who wants to look thug? You want to look thug? No, you don't want to look thug. Ophelia, you want to look thug? <laughs> Ain't nobody wants to look thug. Gosh dang it. What a waste. That merchant didn't have nothing good on him. What's this now? Medicine. Oh, thanks for the dagger and the critical bracelet. Excuse me for a moment where I go. Feel like an idiot. Those of you who saw this coming and were waiting for the punchline, uh, it just hit. I had Primrose, Allure, a lake, and then I was like, oh, hey, man, this is a Haunted quest. Let's have Haunted do it. And then I kicked Primrose out of the party, thus kicking a lake out of the party, making the quest impossible. And, uh, yeah, no, that felt great. Let's, uh, I, I don't even know what I want to do no more, except uh, we need Primrose. So, I guess we're gonna boot some people. Alfin, I freaking love your double tomahawk. But we're gonna kick you out now. Uh,. Make sure you don't forget that. We're gonna kick Therion out, because we got the purple chest. I don't think there's gonna be another. I'm tempting fate with that one. Oh. Not enough people. We should have eight person parties. Gosh dang it. <laughs> On it for story relevance. I mean, this it feels pretty weak right now. We don't really have any good. Oh, I guess Haunted is first aid, and Alphen is... Actually, Alphen's a pretty darn good healer, all things considered. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Into the forest, round three, baby. Yeah. If we get booted out again, it's a freaking TKO, so let's, let's not. Forced to no return, and we returned from it like two different times. You must be the leader of these thieves. Let me guess, you're with that merchant from earlier. Well, you've got perfect timing, friend. I was just looking for someone with something to steal. Come in, then, if this beest thy will. Bring it on! Then the lake's like, oh yeah, I'm ready to rough you up. And by me, I mean my four good friends here are gonna rough you up while I sit on this log of yours and eat your candies. And the bandit leader's like, no, those are my candies. Shank him, Primrose. 
Well, that was sad. Yeah. Right, those staves. Oh, yes. If you were weak to those, that'd be really sad. Let's go for the single axe chop. Oh man, I forgot Ophelia's got so so much versatility now. Ophelia's got a shank of foo. You, you see that stance? My gosh! One damage. Is that a makeshift dagger? It's a makeshift. Gosh dang it! I did it again. Primrose, I'm sad. You summon. Oh, summon a lake. He can get in here. Come on, man. There we go. This is your fight as much as anyone else's. Now, Alphen, you wanna. Just do a double right now. We got, we got something it's building up dense. for you. Okay, haunt it. You want you want to capture the bandit leader? <laughs> Second serving, nice. I'm ready. Okay, Primrose. How about you use Lion Dance on the Alvin? Lion Dance. What does the lake do? Oh, nice. That was the oh, saddest right. storm I've ever seen, but nice. Oh, right. Now let's watch Elfin chop this guy eight times in a row. That is the most glorious thing I think I've ever seen. Ophelia, go for shooting stars, max level. Holy crap! I love this party. I love this so much. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm in your debt. Can I tell you something? Susanna Grotov. That is my mistress's true name. She was a famous scholar, and the same woman these ingredients are for. She was targeted by an organization known as the Obsidians. I know because I was their chosen assassin for the job. My entire existence revolved around the deaths of others. I never once felt guilty for taking a life. I was a heartless killer, and good at it too. But when I tried to kill Susanna, I was stopped by a man named Zonta. Only death awaits an assassin who fails to eliminate his target. So, as were my orders, I drank the vial of poison in my pocket. But Susanna rescued me from death. When I could find the words, I asked her. Why did you save me? Do you know what she said? Sometimes children do reckless things, so it's up to those older than them to save them from themselves. It was then I realized that she was right. I was nothing but a child. No. I wasn't even human. I was just a failure. I was nothing. I finally understood that then. And Susanna helped me see it. She didn't just save my life. She gave me another chance to be human. I'm not yet done repaying that debt. I want to see her live a long and healthy life. And you helped me do that. You have my thanks. And for that, he gives us the primeval bow of storms. Which you really don't argue with. We'll take it. From there, though, this seems like an excellent point to stop. Next time on Octopath Traveler, we're gonna explore the Forest of No Return into its depths, see what lies in wait for us at the end. After we do some side questing in Victor's Hollow. Because the I'm gonna be I'm gonna level with you guys right now. Last thing I want to do is explore that dungeon and then be like, oh well, that was cool. What's up now? And go do some side quests, and then the side quests all want me to go to that dungeon. 
Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. So, we're doing side quests first, and then we're checking it out. Next time on Octopath Traveler, we're gonna do that. And, uh, see you guys then.